Good morning. Thank God I'm off my period. And as you can see, a lot of things have cleared up on my face here. Now, I did get some big old bumps over the past couple of days. And I now have, like, the hyperpigmentation marks from that crap. Like, and I put a, this thing was so big. I put a dot on it and, like, flattened out completely in, in less than a day. Those things there, dots, I think they work very well. I think this Clearacel thing, I've been using it, it's almost empty now. And I think this Clearacel thing actually works very well. But how I use it is, I, I put it on my face. I let it, I rub it in, massage it. I let it sit for about two minutes. I go walk around, do whatever I have to do. And then I will take my brush and actually scrub it off. So, in that way, it's like a cream base cleanser so in that way you can actually loosen up all the dead skin cells and scrub it off and the salicylic acid has time to seep in and kill whatever it has to kill and you know exfoliate your face because salicylic acid is a good exfoliant I've still been using the lavender water and I still love that as a moisturizer and I wouldn't use it too much because I feel like it does dry out your skin though. But it would be good if you have really oily skin to stop all the oil from accumulating inside of your pores and starting to block you up and infect you, you know. I still love my St. Ives moisturizer. And I this thing works even better when you slop this thing on your face. Like slop it on your face and your face looks so young and youthful in the morning. Like you go to sleep in this. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I've still been using the Extra Strength Proactive. Um, and all of these things actually work very well. I find that it even works better for me if I use the Proactive and I scrub my face and then I put on a Clearacel and massage that thing like after. I, I still hate that shit. The, these ones, the Clearacel pads, hate them. Hate them bad. Don't even bother. I've been looking up some stuff and they say that Pepto-Bismol is good for acne. I don't know how true that is, but this is Pepto-Bismol. And you're supposed to put it on like a mask and thing. But you know what else is really good? They say that Milk of Magnesia is good for like, you know, getting the oil off your face. Look at my face. My face actually looks very wonderful this morning. And I was like, wow, I'm actually looking really good just coming off of my period and the hormones are just I guess settling down I'm gonna wash my face and then I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna test it out and leave it on they say about 10 to 15 minutes I might give it 20 minutes and then I will come back and show you what's up okay well I'm back from washing my face the ingredients benzoic acid okay okay there's an acid in it so Mmm, benzoic. Mmm, I don't know what that is. Anyway, DNC red number 22. I have a friend who is allergic to red dye. And the yeah, DNC red number 28. So we got two red dyes in here. Flavor, magnesium, aluminum, silicate. Okay. Um, methyl cellulose sodium salicylic oh hey hey this motherfucker got salicylic acid in it yo yo pepto bismol has salicylic acid inside of it i'm kind of shocked what sodium silicate a silicate silicate Nigga, I just why why y'all can't make up some like um some words that we can actually understand, okay? And sorbic acid and water. So there's like three acids in here. So that's probably why Pepto Bismol actually works. So we're gonna put this on my face. I already had salicylic acid on my face. That this might not be a good thing for me. Anyway, I put some in a little cup. You know, they got like the little cup and thing. Ooh, you know, Pepto-Bismol, huh? 
Isn't it? What is it for? It's for like upset stomachs, isn't it? Let's see. Heartburn, indigestion, nausea, upset stomach, and diarrhea. Okay then, I'm gonna put it on my face. Listen, I try these things because people say they work. Um, let's find out if they do. That's all I'm saying. You could try it along with me and see if they work for you. But I can understand now why Pepto-Bismol might work because if they have three acids inside of it, then, then it, must, it must somehow work. It's not very, it's very watery though. It's very, well, I thought it would be thicker than this. I, I remember Pepto-Bismol being a little bit thicker than this. Mmm. Yeah. Okay then, I only bought the small bottle of inch because I didn't think it was going to actually like work or anything. But now reading the ingredients on the back, I said, okay then, that's probably why it has to work. Okay, now I don't feel any burning, don't feel any tingling. I just smell, it kind of, it's kind of delicious smelling, kind of mentally, a little bit, just a little mentally. I don't know how to explain kind of mentally, like a, a nice gum, like I like minty smells, you know, <laughs> I like them, <laughs> whatever, hey, I have a Pepto-Bismol, which costs 12 VC dollars here in Anguilla, works better than Proactive, which costs me like a hundred dollars to get here on the island, then you know, I'm gonna I'm stick to the, the thing and, and dump Proactive, you see, my whole goal with this experiment for me is to dump proactive because I find like proactive is just it makes you want to use it forever or have to use it forever because of the way they formulated stuff it's almost like they try to make you your skin dependent on it as soon as I stop using proactive I break out but I'm trying to find a combination of stuff that actually works for me I actually like this. I actually like, so far I like how it feels on my skin. It feels kind of hydrating. It doesn't feel dry. I guess it's gonna dry a little bit later. Okay, so I think I'm done with it. Sometimes I get breakouts right here. So I'm gonna put some underneath my neck too. Just, I don't usually get breakouts. Listen to me. I have beautiful skin everywhere except my face, okay? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's like pink semen. Well, this has been about 15 minutes and it's, it dries pretty damn fast if you're sitting in front of a fan. It feels like it lifts and tightens actually. Look at my face, it looks quite young. Anyway, um, though have some little spots that are still kind of wet, but I'm gonna wash this off now. And if it gets this hard on your skin, I wonder what it does in your stomach, yo. Just weird. It doesn't chalk up on you like the activated charcoal. The activated charcoal, I, I've been drinking it like once a week. And I actually like how it makes me, it actually makes me poop a little bit more than usual. And pee a little bit more than usual. And... I think it actually works too. Update on that one. I'm gonna wash this off and see how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm very upset right now. I don't know if you can tell, but my face is stained by that Pepto-Bismol. It is red. It is red. And I washed it off and I I did all because I'm gonna wash my face again because if this stays on my face, I'm just gonna get really upset. It's like stuck, it's like turned my face. Can you see that? I am still red. It might not look as bad before as before, but I can still see the red tinge of this Pepto Bismol in my skin. And I've been scrubbing it. I mean, look at how much. Of that stuff was in my pores or wherever it was it just tainted my whole skin pink red whatever color but 
most of it is off now. I mean, damn. I don't like that. I don't like that at all about it. It stains your skin. Alright then. I'm guessing if you're dark, it's not going to really be a problem to have a red face because they won't see it. But if you're really light, um, like a white person, then it's going to be a problem for you. I'm going to put on my St. Ives moisturizer. Yes, I'm going to put on a lot because it looks like it works better when it's just like slathered on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it stops my skin from producing oil because my skin is so very hydrated. Just be like, okay, well I sure the hell don't need to make no more oil. So this is why I put on so much now. Because I've been doing it for like a couple of days and I realized that my skin gets less oily when I am very hydrated. So, I'll just put it on and let it seep into my skin. I look like a glazed donut, but that's okay. I haven't been itching, haven't been scratching, nothing, nothing has been going on. I don't see any real differences in my face or anything, but it's not, it didn't irritate my skin, that's for sure. So, so far I'm gonna continue and see what goes on for the rest of the day, but I don't think it's irritating my skin. I think it's safe to use on your skin for sure. Doesn't smell bad, doesn't feel bad. Only downside is it stains your blasted skin. For that I would give it a big old thumbs down. I give it a C minus on yeah. But because it has three different types of acid in it, I would say it would help to clear up your acne for sure. So yeah, I think it's okay. If you don't mind a red ass face. I just washed my face for like maybe the third time today, you know, after the, after the Pepto-Bismol thing this morning. And I'm toning my face right now and look at it. The pink stuff is still coming off my face. Like, it's just getting stuck. The color is just sticking in there so this is i'm in the afternoon now it's probably like five o'clock or so i didn't check the time but yeah it's probably five going six and um i didn't put on the light but yeah that's pink stuff is coming off